everybody, it's John Newcomb here, and welcome back to my let's play of Red Dead Redemption 2. We are a little bit off track. Oh, there we go. All right. So I was having some major technical problems with streaming, so I decided we're just going to record these and put it up from there. Which is a lot easier than it sounds, to be perfectly honest. We're on our way right now to go blow up a train, rob a train. Sweet. I have no idea. Still can't get over how gorgeous this game is. It's pretty good looking. I love how they do those cinematic views, that's just fantastic. Oh! Feels good, doesn't it? Well, we need to get this done fast. Now it's stalling before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes short. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Mike? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of red bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your money on the job at hand. Come on. There's a water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Oh, nice. Uh, who's... Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. What are you doing? I'm going, I'm going. See what Bill's doing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bill. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Of course. Can I help a little? Tap my horse. <laughs> Take a crap. Go ahead. That's awesome. Set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. <laughs> Guy's so happy. That's interesting. All right. Oh, there we go. It's auto. Okay. Okay. This is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I've got it from here. Come on, boy. Nope. I don't want to do. I was trying to remember how 
calm or comfort your horse. It was like X, I think. Mistakes. He's like, remember the plan. I'm like, I have no idea what you want me to do. What's going on? Oh, he says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here. <coughs> okay, hold left button to show the weapon wheel. Let's switch the item. Uh, that's cool. Put on a mask to cover my face so people can't see who it is. Sweet. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck. Follow you. You all know what to do. Oh god, here we go. Oh god, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I missed? Seriously? <laughs> what? What? Okay, alright. Okay, yep, I, I missed the train. I saw that. I... Alright, let's try that one more time. That's, that's not embarrassing at all. Here we go, here we go. Okay, sweet. Come on, Lenny. His game is pretty. He fell. The others will get him. You moving up? No, we need to stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. Better take him. Alpha, who's going? Up? Yeah, we should push up. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Wait, aiming. Press that and enter dead eye. Seriously? 
There we go. That's pretty awesome. Where's my hat is a better question. Oh, I swear to God. That auto-aim is not as good as I would like it to be, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, there's enough dead bodies over here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, get back over here. Hold on, I want to loot somebody. Spent a lot of ammo, got shot a bunch of times. Not where my hat is, which is the most important part, to be honest. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We asked Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone down. Wake him up a little! It's an armored car. That's pretty cool. Would Williamson give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite? You two boys go blow that door open. Oh. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. But where are you going? Here we hey. go. Unless oh God. you have a death wish. I'd step back, fellas. Nice. Alright, come on. There's one going out here. Alright. Search that train. I'm a, why am I like blocked? Yeah, weird. It's almost like I got stuck there. I couldn't move. Like, uh, like see right there? What's going on? Huh. Alright. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> Right over here. Just stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Ooh, platinum pocket watch. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. It's a fine brandy. Oh. Get in there. With the letter. Let me see. Uh, Jameson Mining and Coal Company. Uh, let me see. Mr. Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and for 
your continuous yeah. trust in this Jameson Mining Company, blah, 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 blah. I don't think so. Huh. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. All right. Sweet. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. Does anyone else hear the ticking, or is that just me? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I do. No, this looks like some. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? What was that? Oh, God. Bond. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Search a drawer. There we go. Got in there. Yeah, I'm getting there. Hold on. Bill stack. Sweet. $25. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm working on it. So needy. Right, and this letter, uh, let me see, uh, we would have received payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of the exploration at the Wood Indian Reservation, huh, okay, I'll read it later. Let's hurry this along now. Ooh, so angry. What did you find? These bonds, they worth anything? Oh, sure. Bear bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them? Leave nah, them I'm not they killing them. On the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. <laughs> Sweet. All right, deal with the guards. Okay, get on the train, quick. Holy. Right ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul. I swear. Said quick. Okay, go to the engine car to start the train. All right. I don't let him go. I'm not going to kill him. I feel like certain things like that, especially in games like this, come back to, or can come back to haunt you. I think it's very, very important that you try to do right when you can. Just check some of these boys, see if they got anything. Ooh, got some gin. All right. Ooh, 82 cents. And an opened Miracle Tonic. All right. Fortify your bars. Okay. Without draining. Nice. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Okay. All right. Start the train. Better not be on that train. I think it was. Oh, God, that sucks. Dang it! That's right. I'll buy another hat. I got to watch the footage. I can't really remember if I put my, my hat on there. I think I did. I think it's on there. Uh, that's difficult. Oh, we're getting out of here. Oh, I got my hat back. Okay. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, 
you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. That's so cool. sure there's no surprises we've had enough of those me with the boy just go come on kid you can buy me a whiskey This game certainly has that atmosphere everywhere you go. So far, at least, this game is just amazing. Get us out the street. You gotta keep us moving, but calm. Ah, shit. Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. I Get it fixed. Nope. I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on after. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Uh-oh. Who's on the ridge? What do you think? If they were uh -oh. in trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on. Let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Oh? Yes. Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. It's not different from anywhere else. That's too bad. Oh, well, seriously. Maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, 
This here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yep. <laughs> we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Hmm. Cowboys, outlaws. Working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. In this place, we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead backwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just yeah, yeah. Isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Working on there anyway. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. You acquired some herbs. You can be consumed to replenish your cores, use them cooking. Sweet. Awesome. A variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Pick them up to learn about their properties. And we're going to get this wagon up moving. Mm -hmm. So I wonder, I, I, they keep leading, you know, or uh, alluring to it. I really, and I really wonder what happened with that boat. about to prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. 
We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from a dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Nice. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There's a town a little way down the track named Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its Donate money supplies. and valuables to camp to upgrade ammo, now food, and other camp out. supplies. All right. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. Can we put you over here? I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you do it <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Sleep, shave, or change your clothes at your tent. Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. Yes! Finally out of the mountains! Ah, uh, finally. Couple of weeks later. Oh! Back in the mud. Got an achievement. Sweet. Got off the mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. We've been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. Eat, drink, and rest Friday to maintain day. your course. Okay. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> All right. Well, while there is a ton of stuff that we can explore here in the camp, I think this is a good place to put a cut in it for today. Thank you very much for joining me today, everybody. If you enjoyed this video even just a little bit, go ahead and leave a big thumbs up down below. It means a lot to me as a small YouTube content creator. If you want to communicate directly with me, you can always go ahead and leave a comment down below, or you can hit me up on my Twitter. A link to that is in the description of this video. And I will see you here very shortly again on Red Dead Redemption 2. Take care, everybody. Maybe. So, I don't know. Alright, there we go. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Perfect. There we go.